Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a really decent size nail polish haul to share with you. This is Black Friday shopping, I think. I don't think it was Cyber Monday, I can't remember. One might have been Cyber Monday. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. I ordered from Walmart and then Nail Supply Inc. The main reason I made an order is because I've wanted the Disney Villains polishes from Morgan Taylor since they came out. Never purchased them, figured I probably won't get them. They had them marked down for $3 and then for some reason they came up to $2.85 on the webs or on the in the cart. So if they are still available, I'll put that down below if you guys are interested in that. But I'm trying to dig all these out because they put them in a couple different boxes. <laughs> um, I want to make sure I have everything correct. Here we go. So let's go ahead and start with the Morgan Taylor Disney Villains collection. There is this color in Smoke the Competition. It is just a beautiful gray. I have probably something similar in my color. It is just a gorgeous gray cream. Looks to be very opaque. I haven't even swatched these yet. I will probably do a separate video on that. Um, I don't have time to do that today. But there is that one. It's just a beautiful gray. Looks like it's going to definitely be an opaque one. Then I have this in Make em Squirm. This is like a duochrome polish, I would say. It's got a, like a purple base, but it also to me looks like there's a little bit hint of like a gray in there as well. I've seen swatches of it and it is a really unique polish and really, really pretty. I can't wait to swatch these. Stay tuned for that video. I will be filming that probably in the next week. This is another one I was excited about. This is Mistress of Mayhem, and it is a beautiful green glitter polish. This is like a Christmas tree green. It is so pretty. It has, I want to say, like gold flecks in it. Not really sure if that's what it is or not. I will try to put descriptions down below for these. You guys, this is so pretty, and I thought this would be gorgeous for the holidays. I have polishes already set for winter of 2021. I have a rack full of polishes that I plan to wear, but I'm like, how am I not going to dive into some of these? <laughs> I try to use up older polishes that I have neglected, um, but when you see ones like this, it's kind of like, okay, we might have to <laughs> break through that rule and use different ones. Then there is a silver metallic. This is fashion above all. I was excited to see this one as well. Then I have this one. This is like a deep burgundy. This is You're In My World Now, and this is gorgeous. So, so pretty. So when I saw this one, I thought, why not just go ahead and bite the bullet and go ahead and get it? Because these are just stunning. Morgan Taylor polishes are fantastic. This collection and some of her newer, newer polishes have the nice wide brush on them. I do have a couple that must be older polishes from her lines. They have the skinnier brush, so... It's kind of hit or miss on that website, but anyway, there is this one. So pretty. Then the last one, I was excited about this one too. I may have a dupe for it. I'll do that in a different video down the road. This is just one bite, and it's this beautiful red. I was like, this is going to be perfect for Christmas. I'm probably going to use one of these colors as a pedicure. I'm due to do a pedicure. Wow. I'm due for a pedicure again, <laughs> to have a pedicure done again. Um... I just haven't had the time to do it. So anyway, this is so pretty. It's like a shimmer polish. It's not a cream. There's only one cream in that collection, which is the gray, but this looked so stunning. I'm not big on red, red nails. I used to be when I was getting acrylics and things like that done, but don't reach for red polishes very often. And I really should, I really should start to do that. There's that one. It was, they're so pretty, you guys, so pretty. Then I picked up one polish from the Morgan Taylor Fall 2021 collection, I think. It's called No Boundary. I think it's called No Boundaries. This is Catch Me If You Can. It's labeled as like a pumpkin orange. It's a cream. This has the nice wide brush on it as well. And it was a little lighter when I got it than I thought it was going to be. It'll still work, but it was definitely lighter than I had initially thought. I don't see it as a pumpkin orange. I think pumpkin orange is a little darker and maybe... I don't know, how would you describe that? This is like a peachy orange, which is fine. It just definitely was a little bit lighter than I had anticipated. I don't know how it'll look on my skin tone, to be honest. 
there's something on my fingernail there we go anyway but yeah I got that one and it's called catch me if you can beautiful color we'll have to see how it looks on my skin tone then he picked up two just random colors this one you guys I saw swatches of this and I'm like holy cow that is beautiful this is in just for the occasion I don't know what collection this was in I don't know if you guys can see the gorgeousness in there. This is a beautiful glitter, shimmer, glitter packed polish. This has, I don't know base wise what it is, if it's like a pinky purple base. There is silver shimmers in there and like bright fuchsia shimmer. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I have one from Morgan Taylor and I don't know where it's at. I thought this was similar to it, but I showed my husband the swatch of it and he says that's got more shimmers and glitter chunks in it than the other one does that I have. But this is so, so pretty. I will do a swatch video for this for sure, but like I said, I don't have time to do that today. But this is so stunning. I cannot wait to put this on the nails. And the last one I got is Espresso Yourself. This is just like an Espresso Brown. I was hoping this was going to be darker than the Orly polish that I used in a manicure recently. That one is, what is that one called? I honestly can't remember. <laughs> hot chocolate, I think. Or no, just chocolate, maybe? It's not hot chocolate. I think it's called chocolate. Anyway, um, it wasn't as dark as I was looking for, so I decided to get this one. It was a you know, two eighty five dollars for it. And I thought, why not? Morgan Taylor's tend to be $9 to $10 regular. On their website, they're only about six fifty, dollars I think, because it's a discount of a nail website. But they are kind of expensive. So when I saw that, I thought, I'm going to try this one. I don't remember if this has one or two of these. Only it has the narrow brush. This has the narrow brush. Yeah, this has the narrow brush. <laughs> So that's, this has, there's the narrow brush, kind of disappointing. I've run into that with this, these polishes before, um, because they, whoops, I'm going to make a mess. You can't tell what the brushes look like when you order them. So let me see if I can show you guys here. So this is the nice wide brush, wide flat brush. And then here it is next to their narrow brush just for comparison. I don't want to get myself out of frame here. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. So you can definitely tell if this is much more narrow than what this one here is, which I prefer the wide flat brushes over the skinny brushes, to be honest. But the last one I got, I almost forgot about this. Um, I picked up a base coat on there. This is Stick With It Sticky Base. It's a long wearing base coat. I have... One from Maniology that's a sticky base. It's half gone. I've had it for about a year. Um, I didn't want to order more because I can't get it locally. You can get it on Amazon, but I don't have Prime on there and you have to pay shipping and all that stuff. So I'm like, no, I want to see if I can find something else. I use Orly's Bonder base coat and I'm almost out of that also. And it's like 10 bucks for that one. And I'm like, no, nah. actually, no, it's $12. I'm not paying that much for that. <laughs> I saw this. It was... $4.75 for this one. It was full price. Um, I did have a 10% discount code, but I thought I'd try it and see. I don't know if it's any good. I don't care for the top coat by Morgan Taylor that I have. So hopefully this is not like that and it's actually good. But anyway, one final thing I wanted to share with you guys before I forget. I got this little OPI mini polish set off of Walmart's website recently. I, I bought it for... This is Lincoln Park After Dark and then uh, Russian Navy. I bought this collection specifically for those two polishes. There's a uh, Alpine Snow, which is a cult favorite in the YouTube nail world. And then Big Apple Red. That's also one I hear lots about. I also had seen it has a couple here on the end this one in bubble bath and then this is Kyoto pearl I don't know if I'll use either one of those and my husband's like you never know you might surprise yourself and actually use that but they're just whoops I'm gonna lose it they're two little mini sets they come in boxes like this let me zoom out a little bit here there we go um they come in two little itty bitty boxes so this is the shine bright collection 
it was like 15 16 dollars for these um and they are itty bitties they are only 3.75 milliliters per bottle but i thought why not go ahead and just what a better way to try different colors without having to spend money on full-size bottles because opi is expensive um, no matter where you get it it can be expensive so i have bunch of colors. Like I said, it was this one and this one I was mainly getting it for. I've seen swatches of this color here, which is Tickle My Francies, and it looked gorgeous, honestly. Um, but yeah, for the price, I didn't think it was too bad of a deal. Minis are going to be a little tricky to work with. I'm not used to that, but I thought, I thought, hey, they're cute nonetheless, and it does give you a chance to try out a couple different colors. I think that's it, guys. I think that wraps up this haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Everything will be listed down below. I know that OPI set is still available if you are interested in it. And then I will link everything else down below on the Morgan Taylor polishes. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Let me know what you picked up. If you picked up any polishes, any nail related stuff. I would love to hear what you got during Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I wasn't going to do any shopping this time, but I was happened to be on the Nails Inc. website and thought they had... You spend $25, you get a free gift. My free gift wasn't one I picked, so I didn't show it to you guys. I was disappointed. I They had a thing on there. Oh, you're going a tangent here. Um, I have emailed the company, but they had, if you spend $25, you get to pick from several different gift choices, and I picked two free nail polishes, but ended up getting a big bottle of hand sanitizer instead, so which... I don't really use too much. I have hand sanitizer already and I don't need more. And I was like, well, that's not, I wouldn't have spent that much. You know, it's wasn't worth the extra $10 to, you know, you spend $15, you get free shipping on this website. So I thought I could have stopped there. Um, but unfortunately that's what happened. Um, so that's why I made the purchase because I thought if I can get two free nail polishes, why not? Let's just go ahead and do that. I mean, sure. Who doesn't want free polish, <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, I paid 10 bucks extra in products to get a gigantic bottle of hand sanitizer. And I'm like, okay, hopefully they didn't just do that because they ran out. I wish they would have at least let me know if that was the case. But anyway, they're usually pretty good customer service wise. Um, so I'm not, you know, bad mouthing them by any means. I was just letting you know that's why I made the purchase in the first place. And I opened up my package and I'm like, why is there a big thing of hand sanitizer? I mean, it's like this big. It's a spray bottle hand sanitizer. And I'm like, yeah, it'd work great if you're a nail tech because you could do all that. But I thought, well, I'll figure out some use for it. But <laughs> I was a little disappointed. I kind of got over it, but it was like, eh, okay. So I messaged them and we'll see what happens. Hopefully <laughs> that wasn't the free gift. But anyway, <laughs> long story short. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you celebrated it and hope that you're having a great week so far. And yeah, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.